What is going on guys and girls, it is Ghost Robo and welcome back to some more Tier 4 Evolve. Today we're taking a look at Torvald, who is basically Iron Man on steroids. This guy comes locked and loaded with personal mortar cannons, an auto fire shotgun, shrapnel grenades, and of course the assault ability of personal shield. I cannot help but imagine him being dressed up as blast toys with those shoulder mounted launchers just blasting water at everybody in his path, but alas, that's not what comes out of those holes, it's Deadly Mortar Fire instead. If you guys like these videos and want to see more of the new DLC, make sure to hit that like button and let me know who you want to Swing, see in the comments down below. It. Today Why we're deep diving it? into Torvald and all that he you offers for the Assault class. And the first thing one. is massive hey, damage. Now. This guy can Sounds really bring stupid. the pain very quickly. As we dive down into the mines and face reason. Behemoth, you'll see how that yeah. plays out over the course all of the two rounds in this video. Now that auto fire shotgun, it is crazy. Let me together. tell you how it works. You click the trigger and the entire clip unloads. This is not an auto shotgun that just allows you to fire as fast as you want. This just fires as fast as it wants. You click the button and boom, there go all the shots. If you can get line of sight on the monster and line it up, you are going to be bringing a whole lot of hurt. It is kind of, you know, troublesome if you do miss in that it empties the whole clip and you have to go through the reload animation, but it works pretty quickly that it's not too much of a hindrance. Now on the other side of things you have his item which is the shrapnel grenade and that thing packs a humongous punch as well. You'll throw it and then it will illuminate a bunch of weak points at the monster based on where you hit it. And these weak points are a little bit uh, less damaging. They're not as damaging as Val's, more akin to Lazarus, but holy crap, if you combine that with his mortar cannons, the monster just melts. Behemoth becomes Marshmallow and you're ready for your next some more. The mortar cannons fire off of his shoulders, but these while having the same like targeting reticle as Hank's orbital, they do not employ the same property because they are fired off of Torvald, so they're arcing towards the monster, in which case they can hit the ceiling of caves or items, uh, objects, roofs, overhangs, stuff like that. You do need to be careful and cautious uh, where you fire them. You'll see here, you get that targeting reticle, and then you can aim it in. Um, you don't need a ton of space. As long as you have a decent amount, you are going to be able to light up your target. There goes the shrapnel grenade, and you're seeing a conjunction of moves here. We've got Crow with the stasis gun, we've got Slim with the leech gun, and we've got Torvald with shrapnel and shotgun, and you're seeing how it just works its magic against him. Uh, something interesting to note is that the shrapnel grenade does have a pretty decent queue up time. It reminds me of Markov tweaking his minds and getting those ready for action. Um, but I'm trying to combine all of my attacks here really just to push against Behemoth. Catching that monster early is incredibly effective. He is one of the guys that really struggles uh, early on. He needs to build up his attacks if he's going to have a fighting chance. So Torvald catching Behemoth early just equals not very good for the monster player. Now, um, his personal shield, obviously, you guys already know about that. Uh, but his other three abilities just, I don't know, to me it challenges Parnell as like a superstar damage dealer because that shrapnel grenade not only increases your damage output, but also your teammates, um, something that Super Soldier doesn't really do uh, in terms of Parnell's kind of, you know, item type uh, skill. Um, and the, the mortar cannons seem to do a lot of damage. They do reload really quickly as well, which I found kind of odd. I was expecting them to have a long recharge timer, but you'll notice when I fire the mortar cannons that they replenish themselves quite quickly. Torvald is kind of all about speed. His auto-fire gun just, again, you see, it, it goes. It goes and it goes and it goes. Um, and then the shrapnel grenades and the mortar cannons are decently quick on their recharge, so you can just continuously bring this cycle of shrapnel, auto fire, mortar cannon, or maybe you go shrapnel, mortar cannon, auto fire. Um, he definitely is a guy to get up close and personal, but he can be effective from range as well. If you notice a Goliath or a Kraken picking on uh, your medic or your support, I feel like his mortar cannon launches a little bit faster than Hank's orbital. Don't quote me on that, but it definitely seems to come in quicker um, because it's going from Torvald to the monster as opposed to from the sky. Uh, you're seeing a lot of rock walls from Behemoth as he tries to save his life, and there you got to see how some of those mortars will hit the ceiling um, if you fire it in a like an enclosed area. I was hoping that it would just show up red uh, if it wouldn't work, like just not let you fire if it was going to hit the ceiling, but that's not the case. It will let you fire and you will screw up. Behemoth screwed up here uh, and he is going down, um, but I think it's kind of good because Torvald does 
employ so many different oh my god that shotgun it's just going and going i told you it just goes okay all right all right torval we get it Whew. About to give me a freaking aneurysm there. All right, back on the, the dropship, and we're headed back uh, for more. Um, I think it's good that there is a slight limitation on the mortar cannon because he does bring so many different abilities that deal a, a significant amount of damage. I think that slight chance that it might not work um, balances him out slightly. And I may mention this in my other videos. If you want to see Slim, if you want to see Crow, if you want to see Sunny, I do have videos on those as well as Behemoth. Um, just check out my channel or the Evolve playlist. But I think that the Hunters at least against Behemoth, feel a bit overpowered. Uh, I'm confident they'll be able to balance them, and I don't know exactly how they fare against the original three monsters, Goliath, Wraith, and Kraken, but against Behemoth, it, it sort of seemed like the perfect storm. This is a definite damage-dealing team right here, because Crow, with that stasis gun, and then backing up with the kinetic rifle that can just dig right into the monster's health, Slim deals a lot of damage with his leech gun. Sunny is pretty darn powerful with the mini nuke. It is the strongest uh, single like hand given weapon in the game. Uh, and then Torvald comes in with his auto fire rifle, uh, shotgun I mean, uh, the mortar cannons and the shrapnel grenade. And, and you're able to open weak points, deal damage from the skies, ring in a lot of fire up close and really just wreck. So this is gonna be a team that I think will cause problems for any monster, but I'm curious to see uh, how Kraken, Goliath, and Wraith uh, handle this tier for crew. They are available March 31st, um, so that is pretty soon, or maybe already right now. Again, there you see me not really understanding how much space you need and hitting the ceiling. Uh, but again, we come in here, lock and load a shrapnel grenade, gets a quick hit on me, it's all right. We'll twist it back, throw it in, um, and it, you'll see it, it shows weak points on the side you hit him. So it's especially effective against Bikini. I, I, like, I can already see the shrapnel grenade being a difficult hit against someone like Wraith or even Kraken um, because you're not guaranteed that you're going to get um, you, you know, a hit. Like Behemoth, no matter where you throw it, as long as you're within the region, um, it seems like you're going to get some part of his big body. It does explode, you notice there. It kind of hits the ground and blows. Um, so you might be able to catch some weak points on Wraith. Again, that gun. <laughs> when it fires, it fires. I think we've said that enough. Uh, but I really like Torvald. I thought he was a very fun assault to play. I'm not used to playing assault. I mostly stick to the medic. Um, and sometimes trapper side of things. But playing more assault, I really enjoyed it. Like, I was diving back into Parnell. Uh, I was messing around um, with, obviously, Torvald and Markov. And I think that's a really fun class to play. I think this addition of, of Tier 4 Hunters really kind of helps the variety of Evolve shine, and you're starting to see unique combinations and many different tactics emerge. I, I think it'd be so cool if this game eventually had like 40 hunters. I know that sounds totally crazy, but just think of how many possibilities and how varied the matches would be. You'd have such diverse teams, and then when it came to tournaments or competitive play, you know, the composition of your team would mean so much because there would be so many different skills and so many different options to choose from, and I almost feel like that would make it in a weird way more balanced as opposed to people finding sort of a go-to uh, squad. I'm curious to see how they do balance these guys and how they incorporate with the rest of the group. I think that's kind of going to be the most fun thing because I can tell you they are a ton of fun to play. That's already a given. These guys are awesome. Whether you're a medic, a support, um, an assault, or a trapper, they're all great. I definitely gave high praise to Slim and Crow in their videos, but I don't think Torvald is a slouch either. He is super fun to be, um, and you get a little bit of sort of that skill shot with the mortar cannon. Uh, you get a little bit of kind of just like shooter gameplay with the shotgun, and then the shrapnel grenade is just such an effective tool. I feel like this crew all have very effective tools. The stasis gun, super beneficial. Um, Sunny's jetpack launcher is cool, but then her drone, her shield drone, is super effective. Um, Torvald comes in with a shrapnel grenade, and then you've got Slim with that spore cloud launcher that makes the monster unable to see outlines or smell much, much more effective than you may think at first blush. And we're hunting for Behemoth here. He's kind of got a little bit of a lead on us. I really like this map, and there is Behemoth saying hello. He's all orange and glowing. He doesn't see me. Let's see if we can uh, mark him for our team and get in here for a mortar cannon strike to finish things off. Imagine Hank and Torvald teaming up for orbital mortar devastation. Like, that would be so cool. I wonder how much damage if you caught a monster in a harpoon, um, say with, like, Griffin, and then you, you executed the orbital and the mortars. You know, how punishing would that be? I'm just firing some off. I'm not sure if it's four or five shots. I think it's four shots um, that you shoot off. 
Uh, you don't want to put it at your feet. That doesn't work so well. You need to give yourself some distance. Um, and the tip that I was given is to make sure you have uh, some uh, elevation. That helps because then you can aim closer to you um, as opposed to when you're on the ground. It does need space to arc out because it's going in an arc, not just a straight down drop. Um, we're going to get a pretty punishing uh, mortar right there. You just see his health bar just disintegrating super, super fast. It's like when you're chewing a piece of gum and the flavor is starting to go and when it goes it just all goes uh, and that's kind of how health seems to evaporate with that shrapnel uh, mortar cannon combination i'm being cloaked right now i'm gonna get in here for another shrapnel hopefully finish this behemoth off he's got about half a bar of health but you'd be surprised how quick that goes with this group let me know in the comments below who your favorite tier 4 hunter is thus far and who you want to see more of next i'll be bringing you that footage um as soon as i can again these guys release on March 31st, uh, so as soon as they're up, they will be available on all platforms for you guys to check out. And a cool thing they're doing is that even if you don't buy these Hunters or Behemoth, you are able um, to play alongside them, play against them, you just can't beat them. So I like the fact that they're keeping the player pool all together. That's always a good thing and something that uh, every multiplayer game really should do. Uh, we are going to finish this guy off right about now. A couple more of those beautiful mortar cannons and then we get in with the time to two damage and the auto fire shotgun chasing behemoth to get the last hit and we will get it very soon maybe even now there we go behemoth goes to sleep and we will say sayonara to you all hope you enjoyed the video and had fun that is torvald what you think he is a wrecking ball for sure smashing straight up against behemoth they are uh, quite quite the adversaries. Until next time, everybody, have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Thanks again, and we will see you all later.